In this video, you will learn how to create and submit an expense report in Sunlight. Let's start by going to the expense report page and creating a new expense report by clicking the new button. At the top of the page is the box that lists your recent expense reports. As you can see right now, the expense report selected is the one we just created. The name box shows the name of the expense report, which is given a default name based on the most recent period ended date, which in this case is March 31st, 2011. You can change the name of the expense report if you wish. The next box allows you to change the period ended date from a list of open expense periods. Because our expense report is for the month of March, we'll leave this alone. The Approver box shows the employee assigned to approving your expense reports. The Status box shows the current status of the expense report. Right now the status is created because we just created this expense report. But when we save the expense report, the status will be changed to Saved. Other expense report statuses include Submitted, Approved, and Rejected. And the On Date box on the right indicates the date and time the current status was set. If you need to add a note to the expense report, you can do that with the Notes box on the right. The expense report is empty, so let's add a new line by clicking the Add New Line button. Keep in mind that in order to edit any part of a line, the first click will select the line, and the second click will shift the line into edit mode. The date is set to the current date, but since our expenses are from earlier this month, let's change the date to March 3rd. You can either click on the box to select the date, or use the mouse wheel to scroll to the date. Since there is only one project assigned, we'll keep this one selected. Keep in mind that you can resize any column to view more of the data. Let's change the expense account. This expense was for train fare, so we'll select train. The currency will stay as USD, but if you need to, you can change the currency depending on what country the expense was made. The amount for the fare was $28, so we'll type that and click enter, and you'll notice that the final amount is calculated. The rate will stay at 1, but if the expense was in another country, you'd want to change the rate to reflect the exchange rate of that country's currency. Let's save the changes we've made and add a receipt for this expense. You can do this by going to the Documents tab at the top. I scanned an image of the receipt for the train fare, so I'll pull that up and drag the file onto the upload box. Now just click the Upload button to add the file to this expense report. Let's go back to the expense report detail and add another line to our expense report. Observe that each new line will copy the date, project, and the expense account of the last line you added. This expense was for business lunch that cost $34.35. To delete a line, all you need to do is check the delete column and hit the save button. Let's add a new line, check the delete box, and then click save. Now we've deleted that line and saved the current expense report. To view a printable version of this expense report, you can click on the Report button next to the Expense Reports box at the top of the page. This will generate a new tab containing a report that you can print or save as a PDF or Excel file. Let's submit our expense report by clicking the Submit button. The status has changed to Submitted, and the on date is now the time we submitted the expense report. Also, we can no longer edit the expense report or any of the fields in the lines of the expense report. The approver will either approve or reject the expense report. If they approve it, you'll see the status changed to approved, but if they reject it, you'll have to change the expense report and submit it again. And that's how you work with expense reports in Sunlight. 